reaction to the verdict in Minnesota? Well, you know, the one thing I can say is that the justice system worked. Uh, as many of you know, I was one of the first police chiefs that felt strongly that based on what I saw, and that certain that officer was entitled to due process, I clearly believe that his actions warranted a response by that department, and that response was simply uh, place him under arrest, because like any citizen, uh, if there's a crime committed, we arrest you doesn't mean that you're guilty. Uh, that didn't happen right away, but uh, the justice system worked. And as you know, he was found guilty on all three counts. Uh, still a stain on our profession. Uh, we had to deal with weeks and months of at times violent protests. But at the end of the day, the right thing was done. I applaud the courageousness of those jurors. And, you know, we're going to continue to support our community. I'm going to continue to support the men and women of our profession. And this is not reflective of our profession. The vast majority of the men and women who serve every day do it right. Detroit police, I'm so proud of. We all know what happened just a night ago where they were out doing their work investigating a, a quintuple non-fatal shooting and a fatal accident and an armed suspect came in and began firing at our officers. They have a very dangerous job. I applaud them for the heroes they are. A small group is gathering downtown by DPD headquarters as we saw for more than 100 nights last year after the death of George Floyd. Uh, it's snowing so that might dampen the crowd. Do you think this verdict changes the tone of what could happen on the streets of Detroit? Well, as I said and continue to say, this police department set the appropriate tone. Um, we support the right to free speech. We support peaceful protests and marching. We absolutely never support criminal behavior. If you attack our officers, if you try to burn our buildings, if you try to loot, we will respond accordingly. But for the most part, the protests here in Detroit have been uneventful. We support your right to free speech and we will continue to do that because our goal is to keep protesters safe, but you are not going to injure any of my officers. We will respond. And we don't think that, uh, I think the message is clear. We've dealt with a lot last year, even the Hakeem Littleton, where uh, this blatant lies were told about what took place, almost inciting a very, very violent riot, but we stood tall, we prevailed, and so I'm deeply thankful.